Good morning, it's February 2023, and this is Sue Bond. I'm here to talk to you today about AI. First of all, AI is gonna be a wonderful thing. I am so excited about all of this. How is this gonna be wonderful? Well, there's gonna be one entity that's gonna take care of a lot of corruption issues, a lot of them. And if the entity goes corrupt, there's only one person to go after. Uh, Nowadays, attorneys are corrupt, courts are corrupt, uh, staffing in the courts are corrupt, judges are corrupt. Um, granted, there's a select few that aren't, but this AI is going to filter them bad boys out, and it's going to be the most wonderful thing in the world. On top of it all, if you've been following China, their employees, their, their people are tracked by AI, and they're given a number of whether they're good people or not. So if you have a higher number, lower number, I'm not sure the details of how it all works, but it's coming our way. So if your past is logged on a computer somewhere and it's entered into this automated intelligence, artificial intelligence, you can use any type of term you want with that A. <laughs> I've heard a few, trust, trust me. Uh, I would suggest that you clean your act up because this artificial intelligence is gonna tell you with a number how good or bad you are. And then we've got the universal business, universal basic income coming. Well, yes, it's coming, but it's been here. Think about it. People are on social security. They get a basic income every month. There's uh, the veterans coming out of the war. One out of every five people, I believe, are getting checks as a vet. So that's a basic income for them. Uh, why do the rest of everyone not get one? So it's all shifting. We're all gonna end up with a paycheck every month. We're all gonna be expected to be on our best behavior. And if we don't, that UBI is going to be yanked from you. So you won't be able to pay your electric bill. You fucked yourself, you know, type of thing. Excuse my language. Anyway, I think artificial intelligence is so excited. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm here on earth is to monitor and audit it. It's uh so intriguing and it's going to change so many lives to the better i do believe and i welcome it with open arms granted you can't put an ai into a machine that has legs and arms and can walk around shooting people that would be wrong <laughs> so you have to be very smart and intelligent with ai and when ai comes to your doorstep please realize that your life in the past, your life in the present, and your life in the future is gonna be entered into this computer. And I think that's what they're calling heaven and hell. If you've lived a good life, you're not gonna have any problems. But if you've been nasty to people and there's court records all over on you out there and bad things everybody's saying is all gonna be into one database, they might call you in, you know? Call you in and say, hey, why have you been a bad boy? I'm not sure how this is going to affect the jail system, but it's my understanding that there won't be jails anymore. Um, there'll be rehab centers uh, for your lack of treating people with respect. Not necessarily drugs and guns and all that. But I mean, if you're running around life lying all the time and you don't understand how to intercommunicate with people, instead you slander people, that's all going to be documented and recorded. So it's important you go to church, you pray for your soul, you try to be a better person, you make life matter, you make life count, and try to help others. You know, get your number up, make your life happier and easier. Don't be scared by all this drama that the upper echelons trying to instill in you because they don't want this AI. They would have given it to us a long, long time ago. So I'm pretty sure that a lot of you will understand what I'm talking about, but the select few probably don't have souls in them. Um, like uh, Genesis 5 always says, there's people with and without souls. If you read through Genesis 5, living beings, human beings, and animal beings, the living beings were not fortunate enough to carry a soul. Maybe they will in the future. Maybe the AI is gonna be their new soul. Not sure how that's gonna play out either. But being a researcher, diving deep like I always do, I'm going to find the answers and I'm going to keep you updated. Nice to chat with you all. Talk to you soon. Bye.